Hello, my name is Michael Dwyer, and I'm with Rochester Writers. Once again, Rochester Writers and the Rochester Hills Public Library have teamed up to host the annual Rochester Author Fair, now in its fifth year. We're hosting 20 authors in person at the library in downtown Rochester on Saturday, November 25th, from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. These short videos offer you a chance to meet each of the 20 authors. And right now, we're chatting with Kevin Fitton. Hey, Kevin, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks. Thanks for joining us and thanks for being a part of the Author Fair. I think this is your first time uh, participating in the Author Fair. Welcome aboard. It is. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, how you became a, an author. Yeah, um, I'm, an, I'm a Michigander. I grew up on the west side of Lansing, um, and I'm actually back here now living in Grand Ledge uh, after 16 years out in New England, um, but loved books. I think like a lot of writers loved books from an early age. And, and then for me, like a huge piece of it uh, was my senior year of high school taking AP English and getting to read some of the really great books that kind of really, you know, inspired me and made me understand that books can be so as powerful as they can. So reading Invisible Man, Catcher in the Rye, you know, books like that. So that was, that was probably like the big turning point for me was just ex being exposed to that, those kinds of works. And so that led to you um, writing books and you've got a couple that you're going to have at the author fair Auras is the most recent one. Tell us about Auras. Yeah, Auras is a collection of short stories um, that I had been working on for six or seven years through grad school. Um, and then, you know, shape, trying to shape, taking these pieces, these individual pieces and trying to shape them into something that is like a coherent whole. Um, so that meant, you know, dropping some stories that I'd written, adding some stories I um, ended up going with an independent publisher out of Vermont, um, which is a, where I lived for like 11 years. So there's kind of a, it's in it, in the, the stories kind of cross over my time in Michigan, time in Vermont. So the stories tend to be set sort of half of them are Michigan stories and half of them are, are Vermont or New England stories. Well, uh, very similar landscapes and uh, countryside, uh, New England, especially Vermont has some wonderful countryside which is Northern Michigan, I think. Uh, we we both do maple syrup, so there's a connection there. Yeah. Yeah, so we I don't think like we live next, one of the next towns over from where I live is Vermontville, which is, is very different from Vermont, but it it does share some name. Well, it's, it's funny, those New England uh, states, we kind of crammed a bunch of them in there when they were smaller, and they, they really do vary, um, like going county to county here in Michigan in a way. But uh, so if stories that originate from Vermont and Michigan and the title's called Auras, which um, before we got started, we talked about how that's the, the light that uh, someone's uh, soul might project or that some people might be able to see. Uh, how does that relate to the collection of putting it together and naming it that? Well, the title comes from the last story in the collection, and it's one of the ones that I wrote last. It, I wrote it actually during the pandemic, and it's about a man who realizes, discovers that he can see COVID. So he can see uh, little bits of it kind of glowing and then he can see when people have it infected in their body and, and they give off this sort of aura. So it's actually, the, it's the only story in the collection that has like a, like a magic component to it or something like a supernatural component to it um which is part of the reason i put it last because it shifts just a little bit um but that's that's where it comes from from this this man's experience and trying to sort of figure out what to do with that well wouldn't it be great if we all had that ability <laughs> we could know who to stay away from and who we can get close to yeah uh, yeah, although he finds like in the story, and this was a lot of my discovery in writing it, was like how helpless he still felt because he didn't, you know, he. what do you tell people? <laughs> like, hey, I can tell that you're sick. You need to get help. And um, he, you know, it's he found himself really, really struggling to try to do something sort of productive with this or useful with this ability. 
Yeah, it goes a, a little beyond uh, someone having a cough and saying, yeah, you should go see a doctor about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to be one of 20 authors at the Rochester Author Fair, the fifth annual. You're going to have both books. Is that what you're going to have there? Yeah, I'll have my both my books. I have a children's picture book um, that was published back in 2011. And then I have Auras, which was published just about a year ago. Um, I'll have both of those with me. Well, wonderful. Um, it's it's going to be a great day. It's on Shop Small Saturday. It's that Saturday we squeeze between Black Friday and Cyber Monday, perfect for holiday shopping. Uh, so we look forward to meeting you in person at the author fair. And we'll, we'll see you there with the other 20 authors. Great. Looking forward to it. <laughs>